Among the miracles of modern technology, there is a material that subverts our inherent understanding of steel, hand-torn steel. This kind of steel is as fragile as cicada wings, so fragile that it can shatter with just a slight tear. But for more than 30 years, the technology for making this hand-shredded steel has been monopolized by Japan and Germany. After entering the 21st century, China decided to join this technological war. They are eager to master this technology and use it in their own high-end manufacturing. But then China faced technological blockade from Japan and Germany, and they even raised the price to sell this material to China. This greatly increases the difficulty for China to obtain this material. In order to break through the blockade, China began to invest a lot of time and resources. After 711 attempts and failures, Chinese scientists successfully produced 0.015 mm steel. Not only is this the thinnest stainless steel plate in the world, it also surpasses Japanese and German technology. So what's so special about this steel? How did China break the monopoly of Japan and Germany? If you find today's video interesting, be sure to subscribe to the Insider Truth channel so you won't miss any exciting videos. Now let's get into today's topic. Steel, this seemingly ordinary but incredible material, has become an indispensable pillar of modern society. Imagine those towering skyscrapers. The reason why they can stand strong and resist all kinds of natural tests depends on the strength and stability of steel. In our daily lives, the shadow of steel is everywhere. Whether it is household appliances, transportation, or various gadgets in our hands, they all rely on the strength of steel. Let's take a look at those spectacular bridges connecting cities. They are like dragons made of steel, spanning the water, which greatly facilitates our travel. But you know what? In the field of science, steel has become another material with miracles. As far as I know, among the many different classifications of steel materials, there is a rare material called hand-shredded steel. With its extraordinary performance and rarity, it occupies a very important position in the scientific and industrial circles. This so-called hand-shredded steel actually refers to ultra-thin precision stainless steel strip. The thickness of this steel is only between 0.05 mm and 0.5 mm, which is shockingly thin. You can even tear it easily with your hands. But the value of hand-shredded steel lies not only in its ultra-thin characteristics, but also in its excellent properties such as lightweight, high toughness, and corrosion resistance. Currently, this hand-shredded steel material plays an irreplaceable role in many fields such as aerospace, high-end manufacturing, and communications. But it's worth mentioning that the process of making hand-shredded steel is extremely complex. This process requires high-precision processes and advanced equipment, which is not only costly but also difficult to achieve mass production. Germany and Japan have dominated the production of this high-grade stainless steel strip for decades, earning billions of dollars a year from exporting the technology. In order to increase profits, some countries continue to increase the price of hand-shred steel. Sometimes a small piece of less than 1 gram is priced as high as $300, making its value comparable to gold. This has caused considerable economic burden to many developing countries, including China. What's even more troublesome is that starting in 2015, in order to prevent China's rapid development, Western countries began to restrict the export of rare materials to China, which also includes hand-shred steel with a thickness of less than 0.03 mm. This ban has seriously hindered China's development in the field of high-end manufacturing. At this time, China has clearly realized that it will be fatal if it continues to rely on technology and materials from other countries. Therefore, China began its own research and development journey of hand-shredded steel. As early as 2016, China established a stainless precision strip R&D team composed of 20 elites. But the road to the development of hand-shredded steel has been far from smooth. In the early stages of the development of hand-shredded steel, 
the team encountered accuracy challenges and found it difficult to control the thickness within one millimeter. In order to solve this problem, these team members worked tirelessly and worked day and night in the laboratory. They constantly adjust process parameters, improve rolling technology, and conduct repeated experiments. It is reported that after conducting more than 3,000 tests, experiencing about 500 failures, and spending billions of dollars, the team was finally able to produce strips with a thickness of 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters. But there is still a big gap between this thickness and Japan's target standards. At that time, some Japanese experts also continued to ridicule China, believing that it would take at least 20 years for China to conquer this technology. But to everyone's expectation, only two years later, the Chinese scientific team created amazing miracles and even completely shocked Japanese scientists. What is going on? In 2018, after 711 failures, China's R&D team finally successfully developed an innovative material, hand-shredded steel with a thickness of only 0.02 mm and a width of more than 600 mm. It is worth mentioning that Japan and Germany have maintained technology monopolies in this field for 30 years. They have dominated the development of this industry with their technological advantages accumulated over decades. However, China has mastered this advanced technology in just two years thanks to its perseverance and strong scientific research capabilities. This achievement broke the technological monopoly of Japan and Germany in this field. With the breakthrough of China's hand-shredded steel technology, Japan's monopoly in the Chinese market no longer exists. In the past, China had to import hand-shredded steel from Japan every year, costing up to 1.6 billion US dollars, but now China is able to be self-sufficient, which not only saves a lot of foreign exchange expenditures, but also allows China to consolidate its position in the global high-end manufacturing field. Although China's 0.02 mm hand-shredded steel technology has made major breakthroughs, in fields such as precision manufacturing and aerospace, there is a higher pursuit of thinner materials, strength and toughness. Therefore, China continues to promote the research and development of hand-shredded steel and is committed to further breakthroughs in technology. After more than three years of unremitting efforts, a company called China Baowu Taigang Group achieved new achievements in the research and development of hand-shredded steel in 2021, reducing the thickness of hand-shredded steel from 0.02 mm to 0.015 mm, which directly broke the world record. It is understood that 0.015 mm hand-shredded steel can be used as aircraft cladding material, which can significantly reduce the weight of the aircraft and improve flight efficiency. The material also has excellent resistance to weathering and corrosion, ensuring the safety and durability of the aircraft. At the same time, with the rapid development of science and technology, the demand for thinner, lighter and more flexible electronic products continues to rise. 0.015 mm hand-shredded steel perfectly fits this trend with its lightness and flexibility. So far, it has been more than three years since China developed 0.015 mm hand-shredded steel. If China can achieve mass production of 0.015 mm hand-shredded steel, it will bring huge economic benefits. In fact, China's annual output of hand-shredded steel has exceeded 600,000 tons, surpassing Japan and Germany and becoming the world's largest producer of hand-shredded steel. This achievement has attracted many overseas countries to rush to buy, and the supply of hand-shredded steel products exceeds the demand. As far as I know, giants in the technology field such as Apple and Google have also begun ordering 0.015 mm hand-shredded steel from China. Taking 2023 as an example, Apple will import 60,000 tons of hand-shredded steel from China. It is understood that the price of conventional thin plate steel is about 20,000 yuan per ton, while the price of domestic 0.015 mm hand-shred steel is as high as 2 million yuan per ton. From this point of view, Apple's orders in 2023 will create more than 15 billion US dollars in revenue for China. In fact, any attempt to block China is meaningless, 
because China has always been able to break through various constraints and restrictions by relying on its firm determination and strong innovation capabilities. This is particularly prominent in the chip field. In recent years, faced with the blockade and pressure from the chip alliance formed by the United States, Japan, Europe and other countries, China has not backed down, but has faced the difficulties and accelerated independent research and development and innovation in the chip industry. It is predicted that by 2025, China is expected to achieve the goal of achieving a chip self-sufficiency rate of 70%. This is not only an effective response to the external blockade, but also marks a firm step in the rise of China's chip industry. Therefore, I believe that hand-tearing steel is just the beginning. I believe that in the future, China will take the initiative in more high-end technology fields, move forward steadily, and eventually make the blockade a thing of the past. Before we end today's video, remember to hit that shiny subscribe button. This way you will receive more insider information on projects as soon as possible. Looking forward to sharing with you next time.